Well, hello there. Today I will be making a very interesting video. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to SX Melon. My name is Evelyn. I make K-pop content and some life updates such as personal interests and stories. So stick around if you're interested and let's move on to today's video. So last year before COVID happened, my best friend and I planned a trip to Korea. And one of the best things happened. We got ourselves a ticket to one of Korea's music show called The Show. Let me be honest with you, at that time, there was no comeback group that I was particularly interested in. There were songs that I wanted to watch and like anticipated, such as Everglows and Rocket Punch. There are also songs that I kind of just hear, like The Boys and Tin Tin. Um, it wasn't like on my playlist or anything, it was kind of like I listened to it once and I'm like done with it. Joke's on me, I've added both their songs on my Spotify right after the concert. I have to say, looking back now, I kind of am regretting it that I did not know them earlier. The kind of moment where you kind of wish that you paid a little bit of attention to them sooner. Now you must be wondering, how the hell do someone as ordinary as me got a chance to go there? So my friend and I didn't particularly plan to go with that Though we kinda were looking out for one, like a concert Because one of our dream is to actually watch a concert live in Korea We've been to several concerts in Malaysia prior to this trip And it was kinda like an upgrade if we got to watch it live in the birth country itself, you know? But at that point of planning, we didn't have much hope because of our budget constraint, it was kind of like if we get anything, okay we get it. If we don't, we just like it's okay we have other plans to do. Um, at that time we were aware that going to a music show is free but nearly impossible. If we wanted to go, we had to like join fan cafes, queuing up early, last minute confirmation, all of the things that you wouldn't want to do on a vacation. Until my friend shared a little something. Megan Bowens having a fan meeting coincidentally on the day of our arrival. Wow, couldn't be luckier, I guess. She had a Google form, we quickly filled in, then the next day, we got an invitation email. But what was surprising was that we signed up for a fan meet, not a concert. But in the email, they're saying that they're giving away 350 tickets. The event was called 2019 Seoul Music Festival and it's a few days event. So the first day in Korea, we actually went to Namsan Tower by foot. Come wait from street to the top. Therefore we reached the venue late and when we arrived, they're already packing things up. But lucky me, lucky us, we managed to say hi to Megan. When the show started, they were broadcasting it live on TV. And we managed to see the MCs. At the time, it was NCT's Jeno, NCLC's Yeun. There were group names that I know, such as Everglow. Rocket Punch I'll 
Sanju Sonyo. And one of them threw like literally a meter away from me and I had a second before I saw like a fan from over there ran to get it. That could be me! The amount of regret! <laughs> yes, then out that guy was Kevin. And that's the girl who ran to get the banner. And this is me just complaining about the situation I just had to come on. I was I literally saw that he fell and was like should I think someone ran someone ran Anywho that is it for this video also support all the boys in RTK and at this time I want all of them to win honestly I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video until next time bye bye